Hi, this is John Soiker, your uh, humble astronomer and broke astrophotographer. So today I'm going to clean my Ritchie Cre Creation Telescope. Uh, I was thinking about taking out the mirror and the innards and then to collimate it is really a pain in the, in the rear end. So after thinking about it, I'm like, why don't I just clean it with the mirror in the housing? You know, it's, it's, it's in an A-frame, it's fiber composite, uh, and the back is open. So if I were to put water in here, it's just going to drain out. So why don't I just leave it inside of here? So I think this video today is going to be controversial and there's going to be a lot of comments, uh, but that's the fun of it. And uh, I am certain that my telescope will not be ruined, but let's see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I remove the focuser uh, so that it lies flat and you're going to need to do that in order for the water to drain. Uh, then the second part I'm going to do is uh, unscrew the... Uh, the inner tube. The next thing I'm going to do is, uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is use the ear bulb and hose off any particulates on the primary mirror, if you can see that or not, but it probably doesn't matter. You really just want to get the bigger ones, but you'd also don't want to scratch your mirror, so. I'll speed this up during the course of the video. Okay, now that that's done, the next thing we're, we're gonna wanna do is to take some uh, detergent, put a couple drops to a pitcher. Probably good enough. Doesn't matter if it's coming from my inside faucet or on my, or my outside faucet. We need water. Lots of bubbles. There we go. That's what we're actually looking for is, uh, is uh, the bubbles. So without further ado, and in case you can't see, that is what we are looking for right there, all, all those bubbles. for just good measure. Not concerned. Draining out the holes in the bottom. Of course you could probably to do this with an SCT or a Newtonian provided you can get your hand down in there. Um, but you have to make sure that your SCT, your RC, or your Newtonian has a back uh, that's open where the water can drain, because obviously if not, you're just gonna be pouring it into a bucket. So, next thing to do is to hose off the soap, just like you would if you were cleaning this in your kitchen sink, which a lot of people do that do their telescopes. I'm gonna, yeah, I don't think you wanna have this on a full blast, so just have it on just, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but... And that's how the mirrors look. This thing you're, want, you're going to want to do is take some uh, rubbing alcohol. I buy the 99% isopropyl. You can get the 91, but you're more likely to, to leave uh, um, uh, the residue behind. So about. 25% of this, the other 75 distilled water. Then I like to use these uh, cotton swabs that are uh, square that women use for their makeup and it's uh, they have a lot of surface area. So just like we would do a Newtonian or any other, other type of mirror in the sink, 
you're going to dip it into the solution and you are going to drag it across the mirror surface but no pressure you just let the gravity apply the pressure but you do not then you could turn it over and do one side done throw it away so each one does a, a swath of about two inches um, so I have to go across the entire face of the mirror. I'm not concerned. No reason to use it more than once. So just throw away the, the piece after you drag it across once on either side. That's it. Not really concerned. And I guess just so you see how I'm doing this, I'll do the last piece uh, in front of the camera. So you basically just want to drag it across. Flip it over, and that's it. Put it aside. <laughs> So now that I've done that, I'm going to give it a rinse with regular water right now. And the last part of this, I'll probably rinse some more of it off. is to do the final rinse with the distilled water. You're gonna wanna do it at an angle if you can. Rotate it a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. That, I believe we're going to have a clean mirror. Let me just do a bit more from this angle, that's all. There we go, that's good. And with that, we have a clean mirror and I'm gonna leave this to drip dry. Of course, you're thinking about the secondary. Uh, turn this upside down. If you're gonna clean the secondary, I would advise just to leave it on and then just uh, use the uh, the uh, air, uh, excuse me, I can't find it. Just, just use the air bulb and um, then probably just use some isopropyl alcohol and the square swab and just drag it across very gently and that's all you really need to do for the secondary. There's no reason to really scrub so-called the, the secondary. So we'll check back on this in about a half an hour after the water's drained and it's dry and I suspect that it's gonna be crystal clear. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a perfectly clean Ritchie Creation mirror. No dents, scratches, imperfections, residues. There it is. Have a great day.